Hey, what's up everybody? You know who this is. It's your boy Will. And it's been a long day and I just got off work. But I know I have some thoughts about what's going on in the world that I wanted to share with you guys. And I know it's been a week, but I will try to do better. I am going to do better. Not try, I am going to do better. I'm going to be more consistent with my videos. Probably every day, every other day. Well, I ain't going to lie, probably every other day. But I'm trying not to make it a week or two weeks or even a month like before. I'm definitely going to get more consistent because there's so many things that I want to talk to you guys about. But you know, life gets in the way. But I'm going to try to keep my stuff down to two minutes so, you know, I can just give you a brief synopsis of what I'm thinking about the world and how it affects us as Americans. And if you have any ideas what I should call my two minutes, you know, two minutes today, two minutes, two topics, or something like that, let me know. I mean, send me a note, leave it on my channel. Um, I don't know, smoke signals, skywrite it, I don't care. But just let me know what you think and I'll choose the best one. And if I like it, I'm, I don't have any money to give you guys because, you know, we are in the worst economic situation since the Great Depression. But I will give you a big shout out on my next video. So, whatever you got, let me know. And now, on to bigger and better things. Uh, you know Obama's going to New Hampshire tomorrow, or was that today? No, I'm thinking it's tomorrow to talk about health reform. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not sorry, it's not health reform anymore. It's insurance reform. That's right, people. New name, focus grouped, polled. Now they come up with something new. The insurance reform. So they know Americans weren't feeling that because health care reform usually sounds like, I mean, that's like health care reform, socialized medicine. Health care reform, socialized medicine. I mean, it just yeah, blends into another. And, I mean, they just blend into each other. So now they focus group. They've done some polling. Now they know that, hey, let's concentrate on the insurance companies because everybody hates the insurance companies. So let's call it insurance reform. And if the American people are stupid as we think we, they are, they'll eat it up. So Obama's going to charge in on his white horse into New Hampshire tomorrow, flaming his magic sword. I mean, waving his magic flaming sword to tell everybody about insurance reform, how he's going to take on the special interests and the insurance companies who are making you guys go out there, come out of your homes and go to these town hall meetings and pick on these poor little Congress people, the poor little Democrats who just want to give you government-run socialized medicine. That's all. That's all they want to do. And so you un-American Nazis are going out there picking on poor little Nancy Pelosi's little minions that she sent out during the August recess. A bunch of malarkey people. Nancy Pelosi needs to get a grip and realize that protesting ever since before the American Revolution has been American. I mean, you guys did it, the left did it crazy, I mean, for the last eight years, I mean, I mean, they went off on George W. Bush. Remember that one lady who sat outside his ranch for like a month or two, protesting the Iraq war? Nobody called her an un-American, nobody called her a Nazi. Come on, people, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I mean, it's just, it's, Protesting whether you're right on the left is American. That's what that was so beautiful. That's what those guys over in Afghanistan and Iraq are fighting for so that people, whether they be conservative or liberal, can go out there and voice their opinion. And so when those people go out to these meetings, that's what they're doing. They're voicing their opinions. So cut the rhetoric, Obama. Cut the rhetoric, Nancy. Cut the rhetoric, Harry. These are Americans who are showing you that they don't want your government run socialized medication programs. They don't want it. So listen for a change. Get off your little ivory white, out of your ivory white liberal towers and listen to the people. And maybe you'll get somewhere. Maybe your approval rating will go from 20 something up to maybe 30. Get a grip. This one, a grip. Anyway, people, those are pretty much my thoughts. I mean, I don't understand how anybody could honestly think that the American people, the way our culture is and the way we are and the way our system is. I mean, 
isn't the president supposed to be some kind of constitutional brainiac? Isn't he supposed to know these things that the socialized medicine does not really compare, is not really compatible with how we run things here in this country, our system? I mean, of course, reform is needed. But not socialized medicine, single payer garbage. I mean, that stuff might work in Taiwan or Taiwan or Europe or Canada, but it won't work here. It's just not compatible with our system and our culture and our way of life. It's just not. We can come up, we are Americans, I'm pretty sure we can come up with something. And don't get me wrong, the insurance companies do need regulation. They do need regulation. Believe me, I know I work in the healthcare industry. They need some serious regulation. So to make a long story short, people, we can get to a solution to these problems without calling people Nazis, without calling people un-American, without trying to focus group and poll everything and trying to regurgitate the same old BS to the American people, and like trying to say, oh, I fed you a hamburger and try to call it filet mignon. That's not what this country is all about, and Obama should be smarter than that. Obama worshippers, you should expect more out of your messiah than that. Ah, whatever. But I'm going to do more. More videos, people. This is just my thoughts on it. I mean, I'm, I'm all over the place a little bit, but I'll get more focused. I'll have more for you. Until then, take care. God bless.